Welcome back guys. Today's episode is going to be a little shorter and a little sweeter on the build update. So if you have an X3 or you're looking to buy an X3, this is a very small modification that will save you a lot of headache. But before we get started today, you know the drill. If you're not subscribed, you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If, if you are subscribed, go ahead, drop a like towards the end of the video whenever you feel like you're going to dip out or you want to go ahead and drop a comment help our algorithm merchandise link below in the description hit that up we're leaving for utah here very very soon and we greatly appreciate your support so keep it rolling share it with your friends share it with your family so let's get to today's episode and what we've got going on x3 owners so if you have ever dealt with this before and you know it don't know what i'm talking about well let me tell you notice how your door's not staying open you're trying to clean the inside of your rig your machine out but you can't keep the door open now yes yes you can put a bungee cord somewhere you can do bungee things um but why? Why whenever you could spend a very small amount of money in this little modification? You don't necessarily have to buy this product. You probably could buy it yourself. You can find it on Amazon. You could even go to the parts store and make your own ordeal your rigging up. But, as we all know, X3 owners of some time, some period, this little strap right here, if somebody doesn't close their door all the way, this door will open and this will break. It's got a rivet here and a rivet here. You're cleaning the inside of your machine out. Well, you can't keep the door open. Say you're in an awkward spot. You're trying to get in and out of your machine. And you're trying to fight with keeping this door open. Ugh, I need to put some grease on that or something. That's annoying. But if you're fighting to keep your door open and get in and out, there is quite a few companies out there that make a solution to help you keep your door open. So, let's get right to it. I got a package here that I'm going to open up and let you guys see what we have inside. So today's little product comes from a company called, I think it's Kimo Toto, Kimo, Kimo Moto, Toto, whatever. Anyways, so they've K-E-M-I-M-O-T-O, -O, Kimoto. If that's the way you pronounce it, cool. If that ain't the way you pronounce it, good luck. All I need is their parts. I'll drop a link below in the description on how you can get this. So, inside this package is basically your kit for your shock absorbers and everything that you will require and need to hold your door open. It's supposed to be a very quick, very simple install. Uh, there is quite a few videos out there to help you in getting this installed just in case you have any questions or you're not a straightforward person so what we're going to do is comes with hardware everything that you're supposed to need uh what we're going to do is is just go ahead and get this installed so part of the installation stru instructions you can see all the bits and pieces that you are it's supposed to come with uh verify and check and make sure that you got all those parts in your package if you don't uh, either what I would do is probably just go to town and or in my stash and figure out if I got what I've needed there. If not, I go to town. But sometimes contact company, let them know that missing pieces. Anyways, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven steps. So this is supposed to be pretty easy and pretty straightforward. Um, Thank you. In step six, you have to do, it says, drill a hole with a, uh, a quarter drill bit on the other end of the bracket and then put the nut and stuff in. So we have to drill maybe one hole. So we're going to go through here. I'm going to get to installing this and I'll let you know if I have any problems. Should be a very simple and straightforward process. So right here is two 13 millimeter bolts that it wants you to remove. You have two brackets in the package that are easily distinguished. Uh, one left, one right. So, 
We got the indentions. We're gonna knock these bolts out and then put these back in their place per the instructions. So the passenger side bracket, we're going to go ahead and install it. Starting those by hand, just to make sure I don't get them crooked and cross -handed. Snug them up. And there's that. Next step of the process is taking this out with a T30 because you are going to want to put your bracket like so. So you'll end up having to drill a hole right here. And then you'll have this one right here. So we're going to go ahead and take this T30 out. in there so I'm going to go ahead and tighten that one down and hold it in place so I can go get my drill bit and punch that hole in there real quick now, just to hold the door open and hold it in place, I went ahead and snapped this shock back on. So I'm going to take my drill bit real quick. I'm going to run it in here. So like that, we got our hole punched. Now, per the instructions, I guess that it wants you to not utilize this screw right here. But I'm actually going to reuse this screw in its place because I have the metal doors on and it requires a heavier duty screw. So we'll go ahead and get our hardware and get that one set up and get it placed. Now they give you the supplied hardware. You got bolt, nut, washer. Uh, they do supply you with an Allen wrench for these. Uh, luckily I have a socket. So I'm gonna go ahead and start these. Get it knocked out. Probably would be a little less difficult if I took the door back off, but it's not that big of an inconvenience. These are nylon nuts, so you will need a 10 millimeter wrench. And behind it, they're locking, shouldn't have any issues with it coming loose. to the nylon portion. Hmm. So that's tight. We have that one's tight. Our top two bolts are tight. So let's test it out. So as you can see now, the door itself closed. 
oh, holding itself open, making it a very easy convenience for it to to clean the whole inside. Now from the inside, doesn't look like it's going to be an inconvenience to you or your passenger. Um, so shouldn't be bumping your arms and elbows and stuff. Bam. Nice. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to install the other side and then we are going to see what it looks like from the other side. So I got the driver's side finished up. Bam. Took me just a matter of minutes. Everything's tightened up. Everything's good to go. Now I know there is an adjuster right here. You can adjust this out a little bit more. Um, I'll play around with that adjustment and see how I like it. But I know that on the instructions it said there's supposed to be about an eighth of an inch gap between here and here when you close the door. So see your close up normal shut tightness will be no inconvenience to me while I'm driving I won't hit myself my elbows my arms my shoulders or anything on it so not a sponsored video uh, none of my videos except for maybe the XDR video has been sponsored um, but Drop a link in the description. You guys can check them out. I know you can find cheaper versions on Amazon, eBay. I know there's people all over the X3 sites that have posted them up. They've made them in-house. Uh, the DIY page and how they put them together. But for the cheap price of this, it was already put together, pain-free. Literally took me a couple minutes as long as I had the drill bit and the tools to do so. But, simplicity. So, anyways... Don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Like this video. Drop a comment below. Uh, merchandise link below. Yada, yada, yada. Until the next episode, peace out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one.